guys, welcome back to day five of Seven Days of Sunscreen. Today I'm really excited to bring you a review on the Purito Comfy Water Sunblock SPF 50 PA++++. So if you don't know me, hello, my name is Sarah Palmira and I love chatting about skincare, makeup, and all things beauty. So welcome. You guys know my criteria for sunscreens are pretty simple. I like to see ease of application, wear under makeup, white cast, sophistication of formula, and price point. And those are the five criteria that I judge my sunscreens on. This one by Purito claims to be 70% water-based and formulated with Sika so that the skin has a moisturized finish without any stickiness or stiffness. It's even for sensitive skin and babies since it does not absorb into the skin. Interesting. And the claims also include no stickiness, light texture, essential oil-free, physical and non-nano sunblock with a 70% water-based formula. So I've heard a ton about Purito sunscreens. They're very, very wildly popular, and I kind of understand because they're supposed to have a very sophisticated formula, and they're also pretty affordable. I'm gonna apply it onto the skin, zoom you in, and tell you a little bit more about this sunscreen. Hello, you're all zoomed in to the face. So onto the sunscreen, I'm doing my four finger application. You guys know it's actually three fingers, but I'm extra, so I always add more. So off the bat, this sunscreen kind of smells like nuts, which is really weird, I know. But yeah, that's what the um, that's what the smell reminds me of, of like almonds. That's what it smells like. But it doesn't have any essential oils in, which I really like, so it doesn't have any kind of fragrance to it and it is a zinc oxide based formula it's completely mineral off the bat this is really white so i'm a little nervous about the white cast but in terms of texture it feels much lighter than the versed and any of the other mineral sunscreens i've tried it feels super lightweight that's probably due to the water based uh, elements in here. Also has niacinamide very high on the ingredient list, which is awesome. Niacinamide is a fabulous brightening ingredient, so I love to see that. They also have some really nice humectants, and it's made up of zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, so it has two different kinds of physical filters here. And so far, I I'm impressed with the formula. It's $18.90 on Purito's website, but I did get this for like $12 from YesStyle, which is an authorized retailer of K-Beauty brands, and it was on sale. I also have a coupon code with them. If you use the code Sarah Palmira at checkout, you do get a percentage off your purchase. It's an affiliate code, so do with that what you will. But yeah. Um, what else? I like how affordable it is, to be honest with you. I'm impressed with the affordability of it. Typically, mineral sunscreens for me are hit or miss because you do have to sacrifice texture. They often feel pretty heavy on the skin. They often come with pilling issues, blending issues, and they can leave a pretty intense white cast a lot of the time. So I'm continuing to blend this out. I am noticing that there is a white cast here that is a lot worse than a lot of sunscreens I've tried. So I don't know if this would work for medium skin tones at all because if you're using the recommended amount, I'm looking pretty pasty here. Even on my skin, this has given me, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and this has given me quite the white cast. It looks like I'm a shade lighter at least. And so I can't imagine that on someone who has a deeper skin tone, this wouldn't look ashy. So, so far for a white cast, we're not looking good. That being said, I'm gonna give it time. Sometimes sunscreens, especially physical ones, just need time to kind of sit and absorb. So I'm gonna keep blending, just keep blending. All right, so I will say that underneath the eyes and over the eyelids, it feels really good. There's no stinging, which is really important to me because I need to apply sunscreen around my eyelids. It feels really nice. It feels like a really rich, comfortable moisturizer on the skin. It doesn't feel uh, gritty or tacky or sticky. So I will say on that claim, it was true. There's no stickiness, tackiness, 
you know, that texture that's not always pleasant. The Versed is pretty gritty and mineral in feeling, whereas this feels more like a water-based moisturizer. All right, so I unfortunately am noticing quite the white cast, but I am going to go and apply my makeup and then I'll check in with you and we'll do a zoom in to see how it's looking on the skin. Not trying to scare you guys or anything, but I did want to point out that right there under my eye, those little quote unquote freckles, that's actually hyperpigmentation. That is probably from a few years ago because sun damage pops up later from when I was living in Orange County and not taking sunscreen seriously. So let that be your warning. I will be able to probably fade this with vitamin C and retinol, but sunscreen is super important. Hi guys, I am back. I have applied my makeup and I have some thoughts. So let me zoom you in so that you can see everything that is going on. All right, so it's a very hot day today and I have kind of been sweating <laughs> actually because our AC is does not work very well. So I have been impressed by how well the Purito has held up in heat. I don't feel like it's slipping or transferring and I also don't feel like it's drying out my skin. That being said, and I don't know if this caught on camera, it's doing something weird to my lips. So I always apply sunscreen to my lips because that's another area that I want protection on. And usually they sink in just fine, but this is kind of pilled on my lips and it's transferred my lip color a little bit and it's gathering in the outer corners. It's kind of whitish in the outer corners. So I don't love that. It has been a few hours since I applied my makeup, so I'm ready to give you my final thoughts on this sunscreen and really delve into each category of wear. All right, so I definitely have some final thoughts regarding this sunscreen. For ease of application, I'm going to give it a seven just because I'm split. It's lighter and nicer to apply than a lot of mineral sunscreens I've tried because of the 70% water-based formula. It just feels really lightweight. It feels like a nice light moisturizer. But that being said, I had to really rub it in. So it kind of gets points taken off for the fact that I had to spend forever and a day just rubbing and rubbing and rubbing so that it would lessen its white cast. So for that reason, I have to give it a seven and not a higher mark than that because even though it felt good on the skin, it was still really annoying to blend in and I definitely have some mineral sunscreens that take less time and I'm a lazy gal so the easier it is to apply the better so it gets a 7 out of 10 for me on ease of application so for wear under makeup I'm gonna give this product an 8 out of 10 I felt like it was really nice under my makeup other than the white cast it didn't show through and it had no pilling no texture issues the only thing that i didn't like was how it behaved around my lips i don't know what that was about but it kind of gathered in my corners my outer corners and became kind of white and flaky i did not like that but under the eyes there was no stinging and i felt like it has held up really well because it's a very hot day and i'm not noticing any kind of heaviness from it which is very typical of a mineral sunscreen and this did not do that at all so I have to give it high marks for wear under makeup I don't feel like it's interfered too much with my makeup at all sophistication of formula gosh this is tough because I usually put white cast in and I like factor white cast so let's just do white cast separate for sophistication of formula I would give this a 9 out of 10 I really like that it's 70% water. It's a stable mineral sunscreen. It has a very high SPF of 50 and it's broad spectrum. And I really like that it's essential oil free, it's fragrance free, and you have niacinamide at the top of the list. So this is actually a great way to have niacinamide in a lower concentration that doesn't affect the skin in a negative way. And I love niacinamide for the skin. So I think that's awesome. The only reason it doesn't get a 10 out of 10 for me is again, terrible white cast. I actually felt like I was surprised because this has gotten such high ratings, but on me, it actually did lower my skin tone by at least a shade. And so I can't imagine how it's going to wear for people of color. I just don't know. It makes me really nervous. I think that it could cause some ashiness. Of course, if you like to go in with a full coverage foundation, this might not bother you, but it just makes me nervous to recommend it to anyone who has a medium to deep skin tone. So that's really a shame. And I wish that they could have maybe done a better job on the white cast and this would have been much better in terms of a sophistication rating and 
just a general rating. For price point, I have to give this a 10 out of 10. I always feel like K-Beauty sunscreens are priced so, so well, and they're really affordable for such a great formula in here. This is $18.90 on the Purito website, and like I mentioned, on Yes Style, I found it for $11 because they were having a sale. And you can use my coupon code, Sarah Palmira for percentage off, but they have coupons and little codes on that website all the time. So I really like how well priced this is. This definitely competes with other drugstore sunscreens. I'm namely thinking of the Verst. The Verst is $21. So this is definitely competitive. It's competing with Neutrogena, CeraVe. It's a good price point, so I can't fault it for that. Hmm. Who would I recommend this for? I would not recommend this for anyone who has medium to deep skin tones who does not want a white cast, because I genuinely think it's gonna have a white cast. I think this is good if you have sensitive skin. It's a safe bet because it is a fragrance-free physical sunscreen. I also think it's nice for most skin types. Again, I do feel like this is similar to the Verst in the sense that it's not drying, but if you're not careful and you have a dry skin type, you need to moisturize. I would not put this on the moisturizing end of a physical sunscreen. For physical sunscreens that are moisturizing, I think the Coco Kind fits that bill much better. This is more of a physical sunscreen that leans for people who are normal to oily. If you're dry, you absolutely can use it, but you can't use it haphazardly. You have to moisturize ahead of time, and I definitely did to prepare for this physical sunscreen, so that is basically a con I would say, but there are very few sunscreens that cater to every single skin type. If you're acne prone, I would also recommend this because again, simple formula, nothing crazy in here, very, very limited kind of irritants that I saw in the formula, I didn't really see any, so I really, really like that, but I just wish they had a better white cast. What do you guys think? Should I invest in the Purito chemical version. I think it's called like the Centella Unscented Sunscreen. I'd be super curious to try it because it has such high ratings and I have a feeling that that one doesn't have a white cast at all, so I may have to look into it. But I hope this gave you some insights. Like I said, I'm always honest, so even though this had a lot of buzz and hype, it's actually not my favorite sunscreen that I've tried, but I understand why it gets such good marks from people, and I do think that a lot of people would like this. So I hope that you found this helpful. Stick around for more sunscreen videos coming up. We are finishing this series this week, and if there's a series that you are dying to have me go in depth on, please let me know, be it cleansers, serums, masks, blushes, concealers. I already did a concealer roundup video, but you know, any kind of product that you want me to go in depth on, I think the series is a really fun way to bring you in depth information in hopefully not too long of a video. So I will see you guys soon for my next sunscreen video, and then we'll have a more normal schedule next week with some get ready with me's. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button if you're not already, enter my giveaway, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!